your feelings and emotions and vulnerability. This whole length is going inside me. It's 6.30, I'm in Budapest. So this side is Serbia, this side is Romania. We made it. That's Croatia, and this way is into Bosnia and Serbia beyond. You and me, buddy. Fish people. <laughs> I'm so close to giving up and just going home. Oh, look at that, come on, come on. I'm on the brink of having like some sort of collapse. This is a journey in itself, a mental journey, and I was naive and stupid to think that I could run away from my brain problems, because unfortunately my brain comes with me. Oh, oh God, <laughs> sake. Sorry. <laughs> what happened to Chris? Oh, he's run over doing a selfie. <laughs> oh my God. Right, I've just got to go and have another shit because I've got diarrhea. Brilliant. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? Yesterday was a real moment for me. I, I pushed through the anxiety and just went for it. And I'm really proud of myself that I didn't go home. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just amazing here. And there's no one here. From London to Sarajevo, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad going. Well done, baby. You made it to the sea, look. Oh God, yes! Everything's getting good. Look at this, look at this landscape. Hungary, yeah. Just don't murder me. Oh no, see you, man. Get out. Well, good morning, hello, welcome. This is a bit familiar, isn't it? I stood on this spot nine years ago with my GSXR ready to head off to Barcelona, and now I'm ready to head off to, um, I don't know really, Europe. I think I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna get down to Bosnia, Serbia, hopefully, uh, with, with a few stops along the way, and just live, try to live day to day and see where the wind blows. So with that, um, of course, as, as always, I'm running late, so I need to get on the bike and head down towards the Euro Tunnel for my 11.20 train. And uh, yeah, hopefully I've got everything. <laughs> it feels like I've got the entire planet's worth of stuff on here, but um, I don't know how long I'll be away for, so who knows? Right then, let's do this. I shall do a bit of glove faffery first. I've got various outfits, various shoes, different pants, some sexy underwear. <laughs> I don't. Do guys have sexy underwear? Is that a thing? <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> wow, she is uh, heavily loaded. Oh, my heated grips are on, don't want that. And my heated seat. Okay, oh, she's a big girl. She is a big one. She's a BBW. Is that what they call them? Um, right, let's just make sure we're all happy. Are we good? Are we good? Are we going? Not me, I'm scared. Yeah, I forgot to mention I'm shitting myself. It's been so long since I traveled. I don't even know how to do it anymore. All right, let's just tilt this up a bit to give you a bit better view. And let's go. Bye bye home. I love you. My mum hopefully is going to come and uh, live there for a bit and uh, do all my washing and stuff. <laughs> oh, she's a big girl. She is a big girl. Right, let me just hang on. Where's my passport? <laughs> oh God! Such a mongoloid. Pretty sure it's in this little pocket here, but it's not in that one. It's in that one, we're okay. Wallet, do I have a wallet? Pretty sure I've got it. Otherwise I'll be here forever. Let's just go. I think that's why it's scary, because I'm constantly thinking about what I'm 
what I'm going to forget and what I won't have and all the problems that may come from that. But once you've set off, even if you have forgotten something, at least you know what problem it is. You're not trying to figure out a problem which you don't even have yet, which seems to be my life, which hopefully after this trip, this tour, hopefully I'll see things a little nicer and have a little refresh and get back to being a more freedom-loving human being. Not that I don't love freedom, obviously, but I think you know what I mean. A life-loving human being. Right, well, I'm going to, these, these little videos are going to be sort of, um, the little sections are going to be intermittent as I go, if I see anything nice or, or noteworthy. This bag's quite a nice little backrest, actually. And I bought this cheap phone because the um, sat-nav for this bike. To be fair, I do. I, I have borrowed one uh, off BMW, but it's it's 700 quid, and it's not that great. I find a phone better, so I bought a cheap phone from Argos, SIM free. hasn't got a SIM card in it or anything, um, and I'm just uh, sharing my unlimited data Wi-Fi to that. This seems to be working pretty well. And also it means if I have a, uh, if my phone breaks or whatever, I've got a spare device. Right, this is going to be a boring bit now, so I'm going to, oh, I'm just going to fucking go. Yeah, so this is going to be boring, it's just going to be a heading to the tunnel and through various bits of traffic and general shite. So, um, yeah, plan today is tunnel. Once that's out of the way, that's the biggest stress of touring from the UK completed, because you're because you can't cross that body of water, you're still at the behest of someone else, which I don't like. So once that's out of the way, then um, you're kind of... everything gets a bit easier, and there's, the deadlines aren't quite as bad. So anyway, so once that's done, then I'm heading towards Saarbrücken. Uh, it's just a, a place... I've already booked the hotel in... It sounds a bit like Saarbrücken, but it's not. Saal... Saal something. Uh, that's in Germany. Uh, it's about, from here, 500 miles, maybe? 450 miles? So today's going to be quite a long day. Um, but then, once that boring bit of Northern Europe and France, etc., is out of the way... Ooh, then we've got the nice mountains and the Black Forest Gatto to ride through and then I'm heading to Zurich but anyway I'll update you later so that's the general plan but if shit changes and the universe gets in the way then so be it bring it on I'm open for the universe to impress its will upon me right well I'll leave you at this traffic light and um, probably catch up with you on the M20 somewhere okay bye big love oh yes this is the life we're off. No looking back now. I'm still a bit concerned I haven't got my wallet, but I've got a card on my phone, so I'm sure I'll be alright. Got a crampy hand. Okay, we are um, at the tunnel now. We're just on the approach. It's quite a good sign actually, because normally there's a shitload of lorries all backed up here because of the French, basically, and how bitter they are about Brexit. Right, I haven't got any of my shit together. So I'm probably going to cause a problem, which is fine. It's nice they've got a dedicated motorcycle sign there. It's nice to feel acknowledged. Right, we want to find someone with a human, I think, rather than a bot. How do we know where we're going to? Hi, how can I help? Hello, it's just come up with press I for assistance. Can you confirm your surname for me, please? Eads, E-A-D-E-S. And have you had both your vaccines? No. I have a COVID recovered and I have a certificate. You've had a test kit. Do you not have any documentation? Yes, I do. I've got it on my phone here, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. I'll just validate it all for you. Sweet. Yes, we're in. Well, we're through the... Uh, English side. 
It's just, it's so weird. Have you had both your vaccines? Why, why are we even still being asked this? It's just the French being French. It's the only country in Europe that we have to travel to as British people and still jump through these hoops. Anyway, can't wait to have my iced coffee. And then we're going to try and sneak on to an earlier train because I, I, there's no point. I, I don't need anything here. We just have to drive around this whole thing <laughs> just to um, get up there. It's just silly. Come on, Landy. Where are you going? Left? Are oh, you going right, are you? Okay. Anyway, so this is the this is the wonderful system we have to go through because they want you to go through the gift shop. That's right, don't run. Unless you fancy it, of course. I haven't had my walk this morning. I'm going to need to do it later when I get to Le Hotel. I oh, know, that's the hotel. That's stinking finger. Oh, she's a big old heavy, heavy bird. Uh, in blunderbuss. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Sorry, it just blows away if it's on there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bonjour. Merci. <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Right, now I need to try and... Um, be even nicer and ultra polite and nice here. Thank you. Hopefully he's just going to stick me on the next train. I should be on the 11.20 but fuck that. There's no point waiting around here. Just be all like, oh hello, oh yeah, oh I'm in the wrong lane, oh am I early? Oh, oh, and just be as polite as possible and people will be nice to you. Who's going to hopefully get upset by a little old motorbike? No one. But it's clinker often. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Fucking made it. Yes. Don't you just love tyre stickers? Right. Iced coffee time. I've got so much shit in here. But I don't want to wear the backpack. I've got um, some... Uh, what are they called? Fucking cargo nets. So once I'm going and I'm sort of a bit familiar with everything, I'll be able to put cargo nets on here and stick jackets and shit in there. So anyway, let's go for the skinny latte and a Cadbury Nata. Right, so we are now arrived en français and I'm getting on the bike apparently from the wrong side, which is what people say, but I don't understand that. You can get on your bike whatever side you want. So, next stop. Well, this is, it says 5 hours 18 minutes, but this is, that's on the motorway. So, I just want to get out of the crap bit of France as quick as possible. I mean, for the fastest time possible, it says we're not going to be there till 6.30. Because we're obviously an hour ahead now, so we've lost an hour. So I'll need to change the... I would have thought the clock on the BMW would have changed. But it hasn't. I'm sure my old 2014 GS changed. Uh, maybe it's because it hasn't got the sound I plugged in. Thank you. Merci, monsieur. Ça va? Bonjour. Ciao. Exit this way. We don't normally exit this way. I don't want to exit this way. I've never exited this way. Right, so uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on and then I'll update you when I get to something that looks nice because this doesn't. Unless you want to go to Songat for a nice little holiday break. I don't think it's there anymore actually. Nigel Farage has smashed it down. I met a friend on the uh, on the Euro Tunnel. I don't know what his name is. He's from Denmark. I'm gonna call him Lars. Hello Lars! Right, uh, right, we're on the way to Lille. Not with Lars, he's going uh, back to Denmark. He's uh, just been to the UK for the Isle of Man TT and he's travelling around. And he told me an interesting thing about his bike. The taxes in Denmark are just fucking insane. Like that bike, it's an old one, it's got 70,000 miles on. It costs like 20,000 quid, the equivalent, because of the taxes. Even on used bikes, it's fucking mental. Fist bumps. Ah! <laughs> See you later, buddy. Bye-bye. Ciao, Lars. I think I'm in Belgium. 
I don't know, I didn't see any signs saying you're entering Belgium. But uh, all the road signs just look different now. I've got no really desires to go to Belgium, no real desires. I never really have. Bruges is quite nice. It's a good date place, Bruges. But it's Belgium, isn't it? It's the home of the EU. Brussels. Brussels sprouts. Oh, bikers. Hey! Oh, not one of them waved to me. Fuck you. 113 miles left for fuel. That's the problem with the bike, that the tank range is this big. Uh, it, you kind of really want to stop before it's ready to stop. Which is a... I mean, I suppose it's not a problem really, is it? It's a problem if you're being a nitpicker. 3 hours 55 minutes to destination, but that's probably going to be longer because I'm going to stop for a bit. I, and unfortunately, I've missed out on the French baguettes, so it's going to have to be some sort of German sausage, I think. Or a Belgian bun. Fuel stop. We're in a place called Spy. Or Spi. Air de Spi. I think we're in Belgium, but I don't know. Just under three hours to go now. <sighs> And it's hot. I'm, so, I'm, I'm already really fucking hot. I, the highest I've seen is 28 so far. What's it been there? Perfect. Well, what another delightful little stop. The food's nothing to write home about. And that's to do a bloody pay before use for the petrol, which was a right pain in the dick hole. But I met another friend. I met. Bogdan, who is from Romania, and um, this is our way going. I was like, Romania. I was like, Oh, I live in Romania. Well, he's from Romania. He lives here now, in Brussels, the muscles from Brussels. It's not Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, so yeah, we had a good chat, and he's like, Oh, and it turns out he's a subscriber. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I wish you well, Bogdan. Thank you very much for a lovely chat. And he also gave me a link to a Facebook page. I don't have Facebook, so I don't quite know how I'm going to do it. Of people in Romania who help out bikers about where to stay and go for rides together and stuff like that. So I shall try and figure that shit out. Okay, well, uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Two hours, 47 minutes remain. And I'm also very much looking forward to a nice little beer at the hotel tonight. The hotel looks really nice tonight. I thought I'd ease myself into it with a bit of luxury. Whee! I'm in Luxembourg. Oh, I'm a traffic jam. Oh man, I could really do without this. <laughs> right, come off in 2.4k. Thank you. People are really good out here, oh, apart from that guy, with um, letting bikes through. The French are the best, but these guys seem to be pretty good as well. What's this in the back of their car? Oh, I thought it was like a weird hand waving at me. So broken this way. Okay, right, let's crack on. Bye. The Tunnel of Darkness. It's nice and cool in here. Ow. That just hit me in the eye. I think it's my own hair. I'm not wearing my balaclava. I'm going to shut up. Why 80? What do we have to do? What's going on? God. God. The Bundesliga. Deutschland. I think that's the border. Is that the Rhone? No, I don't know what river it is. I'm just going to cut everyone up. Because that's how we do it in England, right? Thank her. He's got some pretty cool guns. We're in Arschfahrt. <laughs> That's Autobahn, yeah. <laughs> Better be careful the luggage doesn't blow off. Everyone's so well behaved on an autobahn. Everyone, this is, what, this is what life should be. All motorways should be autobahns. Look at this perfect road lane control, discipline. People pay attention when they're going fast. People don't pay attention when they're fucking around 
trying to find Shania Twain on Radio 3. Right, so we're staying in Saar Luis. There it is, Saar Luis. I've no idea what it is or what it's like. It's just that I've stayed in Saarbrücken before. And uh, I thought we may as well we may as well try somewhere a bit different. Two kilometers, six minutes. That's what we like. Looks quite cool that Cupra though. Are they still Seats or are they uh, is it diverged into its own brand? Right, other side of the road, okay. I'm quite glad that Seat was in front of me, Cupra. Okay, this is really confusing. I've accidentally added it as a stop rather than my final destination. So, um, although I'm still happy with this setup, I'm not, I don't quite like staring at that massive Bimoto sticker. I thought, oh, I'll stick it there for when I take the sat nav off. Anyway, they did sort the insurance out, so whatever. Thanks. And if you need insurance, obviously go to Bimoto and mention 44 teeth and you get something special. Is this it? No, I've gone wrong. How can I have gone wrong? It's maybe because it's going from one phone to another. Maybe this, it's not very quick to update. We could find possible issues. Anyway, well, this is Saint Louis. It doesn't look great so far. Come on, there's no one even here. I'm the only one waiting. No. Apart from that guy. Come on, Satnav, play the game. It's very quiet. Is, do people live here? Wow, it is very quiet. La Maison Hotel. Okay, some nice cars. Is that the inn? For fuck's sake, why is this so topply? I know why it's so topply. Because it's got a load of shit on it. Okay, let's just check in. Right, I'll see you in the room. In the hotel room everything's lovely very nice very nice um but disaster i've forgotten my little uk double pronged power adapter i've i was but i've been um foresightful enough to get a double block so i can plug multiple things in but i've forgotten this bloody thing so anyway i'll have to ring reception but this is very nice this is hotel what's it called hang on this is uh, not a sponsorship. Hotel La Maison in Saint Louis. There's a really nice um, secure underground parking as well for your bikes. And this room was 110 pounds for the night and it's got a nice little balcony if you want the old <laughs> jib jobs. And yeah, it's pretty nice. It's more than pretty nice, it's very nice. So anyway, I need to just find that and then I'll start copying over the footage because I'm such a nerd, this is what I do on my holiday, uh, and unpack my stuff. These are, um, these are really cool. Uh, these are little packing cubes, so you can organize all of your stuff and honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done because normally my bags, it's like I'm always missing one sock, which is down there somewhere, whatever. Uh, I've got my shoes in there, hanging out my sweaty things. I can't wear those tomorrow. Too hot. Clean my helmet, empty the memory cards, charge the batteries. Some kind of strange mushroom. Right. So that's that really. Um, I'm knackered to be honest. I'm really tired. It's been a, it's been a shit, it hasn't been a shit day. It's been a great day. I've, I've met a couple of nice people and I feel that the universe is on my side, which is good. Um, but I'm just tired and I think that all the journeys from the UK, leaving the UK, getting the tunnel or boat or whatever, getting across that bit of water and then the sort of boring shit of northern France and just general sort of not very fun landscapes uh, is a bit boring. But that's all done now. So now it's basically twisties until Bratislava, which is, it's Monday today and I'm in Bratislava on Friday. I'm in Zurich tomorrow, but the Bratislava on Friday is my only other real deadline for anything, so... So yeah, I'm gonna go and have a beer and see if I can chat up the reception lady and get her to give me my UK whole prodder. That sounds wrong. Good night. Wallowing.
dripping with sweat and excitement. <laughs> I haven't done my chin strap up. Mm. Right, well, we're just atop the um, B500 from Baden-Baden. Come the fuck on, Bridget. <laughs>